So I'm gonna show you where to find the wiring for your upfitter switches. So you got one through four, and uh, there's power supplied to these, and then this power comes out of them, um, and they're kind of dead ended underneath the dash. So we'll go down here under the dash so basically there's your uh, data link connector uh, for a frame of reference here's your park and brake so we come and look straight up and they actually have some wiring colors and stuff uh, underneath this zip tag so anyway so here's your your, uh, your four wires that come out of there. They come straight out of the harness like that, where they're taped up. Uh, we're using two of them for front and rear strobes. But these are the four right there that go to those switches. Um, two of them are higher amperage than the others. Because they, uh, or two are higher than the other two. I think it's 10 amps for the small ones and 30 amps for the big ones. I'm not exactly sure, but... Anyway, this is where your your uh, your wiring ends. So if you need to tap into those switches, they'll be right here. Uh, so there's also a convenience in this harness that goes through the firewall. Uh, you got all these also dead-ended wires. Um, the four of them go out to. Uh, up, up by the uh, the cowl and those are dead-ended too so basically they just give you a piece of wire from here out to there so you don't have to go through your firewall it's already there um, I think the wires were I just wanted was one, one of them was this white and white and red one another one is this white one I think it's just regular white that might be white and orange um, I think one was gray gray and orange and the other one might have been this brown and white I'm not exactly sure but I think those are the ones that are out there either way you can see you can see them out there and you can see them in here so you just you can run a continuity check between them or I mean they're pretty distinct colors so you ought to be able to pick them out just uh I mean I don't know if they'd be different in yours as opposed to this, but I'm pretty sure those are the ones that I used in this. Uh, so I'll show you where they are out on the firewall. So we'll come out here. Right down here by your oil break booster lines. There's uh, four more wires. So it's the other end of the ones that are down there. You can see them right here. They come out of the harness. You can see where they come up out of the harness right there. And it should be four wires. Uh, we're tapped into two of them for something. I'm not exactly sure what they're what's wired in the one. Uh, because our, um, actually it might be through the strobes. Our, our switches go into a strobe box. And that comes out of the strobe box and they go probably to the lights. I'm not sure, I haven't traced them and I didn't install them, so I'm not exactly sure what they're for, or where they go. But anyway, so right, right down there, just above, just above the uh, fuse box, is where they come out of the harness. Turn the camera upside down. You can see a little better. So you see that right where they come out? Those four come out. But then on this one, I think you got a gray, gray and orange, brown and white, white and white and orange, and I think a regular white. So those are the ones that I have up here. So anyway, little tips on how to wire your upfitter switches for your uh 
your uh, Ford Super Duty. Uh, this is an 11 or a 12. I think it's it's. I think it's an 11. Anyway, it, sh it should be basically the same for for uh, this generation. I think, I think it's 11 through 16. Uh, it probably changes with the new body style. But anyway, so I hope that can help somebody. Thanks for watching.